Hello, Good Sam family. This is Pastor Dan. Uh, it's my weekly devotional. It's my uh, time about talking to you what Christ is doing in my life. It has nothing to do with my sermons. Um, it has everything to do with my devotions and my daily reading. Um, so, <clears throat> I've worked through Second Samuel and now I'm in Numbers. Um, every week I read, or every day I read uh, uh, something from the Old Testament. Uh, a psalm, and uh, something from the Gospels. And sometimes I'll switch uh, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, but I'm, I'm right now I'm working through the Old Testament. Um, and so I'm, I moved over to Numbers. And in uh, doing Numbers, I'm reading a lot uh, of genealogies and um, uh, people and counting uh, people and censuses and sensis or whatever, and um, I'm reading a lot of boring, arduous stuff. Um, chapter three is a little different with the uh, the placement of Le the Levites, but in, in in the theological reason for that. But but before that, in chapter one and chapter two, you get uh, you get a real strong sense of. Um, God's meticulous nature. And when I'm reading this, I, I, I'm overwhelmed with how when in, in, in the Gospels it says that he knows all the, the hairs on your head and you know not a bird falls from the sky without the knowledge of God. Um, it really makes you think that this is, well, this is what he's cho chosen to write down in the Scriptures and there's a lot of reasons why it's there. But the one thing that really hits me, what reflects... Uh, uh, what's reflected about God for me is this notion that he truly does care about the particular. What I mean by that is, is, is that I don't think that God, um, I, think, I don't think that we think that God um, is as particular as I think the scriptures show us. I think... Um, I think we're quick to think, well, God doesn't care about that. We're quick to say, eh, God doesn't care. That he he's he's too big. He's too he's too mighty. He's too above. Too he's too way up here to worry about this little thing. And I think the one thing that you can really get with the the, the particulars of the text is is that that's not really the case. Um, the case is is that he he truly does care about the hair on the head, the, the bird in the sky, um, and in this case, the, the family member of hundreds of thousands of people. He cares about that one name. I mean, it's down to the T, down to the number. Um, and so when you think about that, I think you could take that two ways. I think I could take that two ways and think, well... God's going to get you. God's going to get you. He knows everything. Kind of like this cosmic Santa Claus that can not just reward good behavior but punish bad behavior, even the small, tiny behaviors. I think that's one way to look at it. I don't think that's a good way to look at it. Um, <laughs> meaning that it's not a good motivator to do right things. Um, I think another, a better way to look at that is that God sees your, your tiny struggle for faithfulness. When, when you are tempted just briefly to commit a sin, He sees when you, out of love for Him, decide not to do it. I think whenever you uh, do the one tiny little kind act, or the act of omission, when you decide not to be angry at someone, or you decide not to speak back to someone when you shouldn't speak back to them, um, I think he sees that, and I think that he honors that, um, and I think that that is how particular he can be, um, and it may just be a, a 10 second moment in your mind, and it may be just a 10 second glance of action in your life, and you forget it very fast. But I think we could see that in the course of 5,000 years, the record within Scripture, uh, the course of 5,000 years, he found it important to write 
that one person's name and put it in his scripture, put it in that record, put it in, in there. He cares about the particular. And I think that that's the one thing that we can recognize is that he, he cares whenever you succeed, even on the most tiny level, as much as he cares about whenever you fail, even on its tiniest little level. So I think that's the benefit of it, and that's what I'm going through. I pray that you have a good week, and um, may, may the love of the Father, the fellowship and the power of the Holy Spirit, and the grace of the Son be with you all. Blessings.